Melbourne Coffee Shop is offering free drinks for anyone who's lost work during lockdown. The good deed has inspired others to do the same, brightening people's days despite struggling with sales themselves. Owner of Nigel Coffee, Daniel Dick, joins us now from his store in Armidale. Daniel, great to talk to you, my friend. It's a lovely gesture. What made you do it? Um, look, we just, I guess, unfortunately, when the announcement was looking like it was eminent, we started thinking about... Uh, what it was like last year and as we know coffee is a really important part to most Melburnians days um, and starting to think about the consequence of an extended lockdown again and the amount of displacement that that would mean for casual and shift workers I thought to myself essentially you know, it's a pretty small cost for me to bear uh, so that people can you know go not have to sacrifice something that you know makes their day just a little bit better. And what are people telling you when they come in I mean I imagine you sort of almost double as a bit of a counsellor at times. Oh, that's very much what it was like last time, you know, particularly considering that during the lockdown we were sort of one of the only social outlets for people outside of their, the four walls of their house. So, you know, you, you very much became a, a bit of a lightning rod to people's emotions, their frustrations and their anxieties. And I guess we, we took that responsibility pretty seriously. Um, you know, as I said, it was sort of like the one luxury that people were allowed to have. So when people came in, the, the least that we could do was just you know, be patient and kind and, you know, if that meant us handing over a free coffee just so that a little part of their day, a little bit of their anxiety could be eased, then it was a really simple decision for me to make and, you know, I'm just fortunate enough to have a couple of locations now that hopefully we can get some people participating um, in just that. Yeah, it, it seems really interesting with this lockdown because I was just talking to a couple of mates down in Melbourne and considering what you went through last year, I thought a week lockdown would be, you know, OK, but they seem to be struggling with this one more than anything that you went through last year. Yeah, well, I mean, you just kind of get a little bit of shell shock from it all again. It's, just, it's, it's a little bit triggering. Um, you know, last year was, was really tough for, for a lot of people, a lot of operators in particular, and, you know, I think you know, I hang my hat on being able to provide a livelihood for, albeit, a, a few people, um, but to have that put at risk again, um, it's, it's really concerning for people. So, you know, if it's a week or two weeks, it's, it doesn't sort of really matter. That sort of disruption to the progress we've been able to make after doing the right thing last year, it's, it's, it's a really bitter pill to swallow, really. I mean, how have you kept your business going? I know that your coffee shop there has only been open for six weeks. Um, your other shop for two years. Tough time to be in business, huh? Uh, it's, it sort of really has. Our uh, location in Camberwell particularly is underneath a series of offices, so we really rely on people getting up every morning and going to work, and, and without that, you know, there goes a massive portion of our revenue in that location. Um, and, yeah, look, we, we, we took stock of last year. We thought it was safe to go out in the water again, and we opened a second location, and it feels a, a little bit like, you know, uh, we're being punished for being bold in, in trying to progress our careers and, and our business ventures. So, no, look, we, we stood fast last year. We stayed open. We, we did what we could for the community around us, and we'll do the same here and continue to... Uh, just try and be kind to people and, and try and make a few coffees while we can. And you know what? I think people have long memories and I think post this pandemic we're going to remember those who stepped up and thought about their community, like your business. I know you've inspired other coffee shops like Jethro Canteen in Richmond. I think we've got a picture of them. Um, they're doing the same thing. These little acts of kindness, they can go a long way, can't they? Yeah, absolutely. And look, as, as an industry, you know, the, we're a pretty passionate bunch in hospitality and I think, you know, strong ideas and things that are going to really stimulate people's ability to be kind and generous to people is in our lifeblood. It's about taking care of people. So, you know, for the fact that people were sort of, I guess, to pick up what I was offering from my location and continue to put that out across the, the city, you know, it's a really small cost for us to bear, as I said, and look, and if it can make someone's day slightly better, someone that... Um, who is working, you know, or living work week to week by paycheck to paycheck. Um, it's something that, you know, people shouldn't have to do without. And if it means that we can put that out there, then, you know, I feel all the better for doing so. And, you know, hopefully you're right, people do have a long menu, um, a long memory, but we're just, I guess, concerned that people won't recover from this one, that people hopefully after this one will, um, you know, return mm -hmm. to normal consumer behaviour without a shock to their confidence and come back out because we can't really wait for, yeah. for the slow burn to happen again.
Yeah, look, for sure. You're doing a great thing there, Daniel. Uh, good luck with it, and uh, we'll talk to you soon, hey? Appreciate your time this morning.